I've been meaning to try out Orca Slicer for some time now, and with the new Bamboo Labs Adventures, I decided now is the time. So I'm setting up Orca Slicer with a X1 Carbon, and that's what I'll be showing you in this video today. If you've been living under a rock and have no idea what I'm talking about, let me uh, switch over and show you just a couple things real quickly. So they announced that there will be a new firmware update with authorization control systems, and other people have gone into much more detail about this, and you should definitely watch their videos. The key things that uh, I want to point out is that the new firmware update is going to be 0.3 and above, and the Bamboo Studio version is also listed here as well. I have updated my firmware to .2, and the reason for that is that it supports changing the firmware from the micro SD card, which I think there could be a possible reason for doing that in the near future. In fact, they state that one of the reasons for doing that change would be if you needed to roll back to an old version, which may become relevant for multiple people. As a reason for, for making this change, they cited security concerns and pointed to this fact that someone has been hacking any cubic printers with, a, with an issue Perhaps that's entirely their reasoning. Other people believe it's to take additional control. And they do state that this printer update will break the connection with Orca Slicer. I hope that by not updating past the versions that I've uh, indicated, that doesn't affect what I'm doing here. If it does, I'm pretty sure somebody will create a workaround and I'll create a subsequent video. But that's what I'm doing today, which is installing Orca Slicer and connecting it to an X1 Carbon. So let's get started. And here in the download page, they have a whole bunch of different options for lots of different operating systems. Of course, pick the one that's appropriate for you. Today we're doing uh, Windows install. And at the very bottom of the page, they have instructions which are pretty straightforward. Download it, run it, set up your printer, right? So in the beginning of January 2025, what's version version available is version 2.2. That's what we're installing. So we're going to go to into setup, get the license agreement. Program files is fine. We're going to drop it in the start menu folder so I can access it later. Not a big deal. I'm going to speed this up though because there's no reason for you to sit here and watch this uh, build in real time. So we're going to continue on to the next thing. So finish the setup and that should take us over to the setup wizard. So we're going to get started, pick our region, and move on into printer selection. You can select all of the printers that you have. I'm pretty sure you can come back and add printers later, but what I'm doing particularly in this video is just showing you setting up those Bamboo Lab printers, especially the X1 Carbon. So I'm going to select all the nozzle sizes for that that I have, and also for the A1 Mini while we're at it, uh, all the ones that all the nozzle sizes that I have. But there's a lot of different printer options in here, and that's fantastic. That's one of the things that's amazing about uh, Orca Slicer. Under filament, they've got all these generics, and below there's a whole bunch of bamboo filaments like gazillions of bamboo filaments and that's fantastic i just don't have any of them at this point in time so i don't see a reason to add those at this time i can come back i'm sure and, and add them later so we'll go with the basic filament selection and just uh just keep that for now so but stealth mode this is a big deal though users who don't use bamboo labs machines or use land mode only can safely turn on this function i am using land mode only and will only be using land mode only from now on because of this issue and their cloud services. This requires a proprietary plugin for the Bamboo Lab Network plugin. I do not know how long this will be available or if Bamboo will try to do something to change that plugin in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and get a hold of it now, and I suggest you do the same if you're in that little window before they've uh, made any changes. So we have it installed successfully. So we're going to go ahead and get into Orca Slicer for the first time, and not shockingly, not surprisingly at all, it, it looks uh, quite a lot like the Bamboo Studio. No kidding. So we're going to link it to our printer by using the access code. We need to make sure that land mode only is on. We're going to pull the access code off the printer and type it in here. confirm and it connects immediately. I was actually having problems with uh, Bamboo Studio not connecting to that printer in LAN mode and here it's not an issue. Uh, on triggering the video it says that there's a bit of an issue so I'm going to go ahead and just tell it to fix it. 
and it did it. So that seems to work just fine. No problem. Uh, it has the whole interface like I'm used to on Bamboo Studio, which is really cool. Um, very similar tabs, except uh, more features and capability in Orca Slicer, which we're going to explore in future videos. But this is more focused on just being a setup video. Um, so clicking around the calibration tab, I want to explore that in more detail later in a different video, but that's not what we're doing here. Uh, like I said, make sure that your Bamboo Lab Printer is set up in LAN only mode. It's right here in the network tab on the interface on the printer itself. This is on the X1 Carbon and that access code is what gets you to uh, log into Orca. So what I'm going to change it to is the textured PEI plate. I believe that's the most common. Make sure that you just set it to whatever plate that you have on hand. Um, but I believe that is the most common plate. So that is the one that I have currently installed on the printer. So made that change. And here we are. Live, mu live mode does work in the LAN mode with the way that I have the printer configured. So I'm going to drop in a, a file and we're going to do a quick test print on a separate project. I'm working on trying to fix a, a shower head with some clever printing. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And as before, you drag into the part, you can see the part just like Bamboo Studio. It's actually uh, really, really nice. Um, I, I like the look and feel of Orca better. This. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It just seems a little nicer to me. Um, their visuals and everything that they've included. So I like it. We're going to try to print it and see if that works. And click print. Here we are. Auto refill. That feature is available here too, which I love that feature. It's fantastic. We're just going to check the printer real quick and um, make sure that I have it, the build plate's empty and all that. So and I also wanted to check around a little bit. Uh, it's interesting, some of these, I'm not surprised that micro SD is not available. It's interesting that there's nothing under update, not that I'm planning on updating the printer, but just thought I would uh, click through some of those menus so you could see what's there. But we're gonna try it, we're gonna send it. Yep. And it's sent. Uh, away we go, the printer turned out, print turned out great. So let me show you how to set up the A1 Mini. And to be clear, the A1 Mini has not had a notification uh, like the X1 Carbon that they're changing the firmware in the device in the near future. They may go there, who knows. But anyway, um, it shows up here when you click on these devices. Other device, it's not been found as my device yet, so I'm gonna click on it. Once again, uh, that printer is set up in LAN mode and they show you sort of a screenshot of what it looks like on the A1 Mini. Uh, so I'm just going to punch in my access code. Confirm. And let's see if we have an A1 Mini. And we do. So that's all it takes to set up the A1 Mini. Very painless, very, very nice. As you saw, Orca Slicer relies on the Bamboo Network plugin in order to be able to control it and do all of those things. I do not know if Bamboo Labs is going to intentionally break that plugin. I do think that now is the time to download it as quickly as possible. I think this video is uh, potentially for a short period of time. Always check the date of when a YouTube video was released because that impacts the information that was available to the person at the time when they made that video. So right now it's early January, 2025, and all of this is going to change. Hopefully, these features and so forth will not be impacted and Bamboo won't aggressively change that proprietary plugin. But I would, if you haven't done it before, I would get Orca Slicer as soon as possible, set it up, make sure that you get the plugin, and then not update anything. By not update anything, I mean not update any of Bamboo's things. Uh, updating Orca Slicer into the future will probably be perfectly fine and no issues, but I would not update the Bamboo Labs printers past 8.02. I would, I have no intention of going to 8.03, even if they say that they're not doing this and so on and so forth. I hope this information is useful to you. I hope you find it helpful and 
we'll all see what happens uh, next in this adventure. Like you know, I like everything in dark mode. So okay, those are nice. There. It is. So completing this. Oh man, I gotta sneeze. Ah.